Hi, and welcome to Book Chat with Julie. I'm Julie with the Argenta Branch Library, and we're part of the Lehman Library System in North Little Rock, Arkansas. And I want to welcome you to the February Book Chat. We're going to do a little Valentine. Uh, we have some Ooh La La Paris. Um, and I always laugh when I say that because I don't know why when I think of Paris, I always say Ooh La La. Um, I've never been to Paris, so I don't know if that's a Parisian um, thing, but I just have always said it, so I don't know where I've picked it up. But anyway, ooh la la to book chat. Um, February is a short month, and so it's the month that I get to, as far as decorating around our house, um, I get to bring out uh, the pink and the glittery and the, the red and white um, Valentine decorations. Um, Raising two boys, uh, there's not a lot of sports teams um, that have pink on them. Uh, so we decorate um, with a lot of black and gold for Missouri. Um, we do throw in some red and white for OU uh, so to, keep, to keep Daddy happy. He's an OU fan. And then as far as Pokemon and Call of Duty and Star Wars, the other things that kind of decorate our house, um, as far as having boys um, around all the time is there's still not a lot of pink. So I'm kind of glad that um, February is my daughter-in-law's birthday. So I get to uh, bring out a little more pink and uh, glittery uh, decorations for February in honor of her. So have you ever been to Paris? I haven't, um, but I'm gonna take you to Paris this month with some Paris reads. Let's take a look. The only thing chillier than a Parisian winter is a cold-blooded murder. The beginning of a new series by Amelia Bernhardt is A Death in Paris, a Mystery. An oldie but goodie um, book um, by Danielle Steele is Five Days in Paris, a novel about honor and commitment, love and integrity, it's about finding hope again. Will Grace fall out of love and into life? Hmm. Goodbye Paris by Ainsty Harris is a brand new uh, debut novel. Well, it's, it's new to me, but it's, it's her uh, debut novel. It came out uh, about a year ago. Um, and if you're a fan of the Jojo Moyes um, novels, then you might enjoy um, Ainsty's writings. Goodbye Paris is the story of a woman who has had her heart broken, but then puts it back together again in the most uplifting and exquisite way. The Paris Winter. It's a dark tale in the City of Light. It will haunt you long after the pages close. This is a historical fiction spellbinding thriller. <clears throat> historical fiction works. Um, if you're a historical fiction uh, reader, you know um, that if they're set in Paris, um, they're going to be set, a lot of them are going to be set in the 20s, the 30s, and the 40s. Um, uh, wartime, um, pre-war, post-war um, type, type stories. Um, that's why I was glad to find some of these thrillers um, that are set in different time, time frames, um, but set in Paris. But the Paris 7 a.m. by Liza Wyland is set in June of 1937. Paris 7 a.m. imagines 1937. The only year that Elizabeth, a meticulous keeper of journals, didn't fully chronicle in vivid detail. This novel takes you through Elizabeth's journey into the world of arts, politics, romance, and self-discovery. The Paris Seamstress by Natasha Lester. A French seamstress, a British spy, and an American heiress. One destiny that begins in war-torn France. And I wonder how the three of those are going to uh, come together to make for an interesting story. And maybe these selections uh, this month will take you to Paris while many of us um, are still staying home. 
Um, I know our house, uh, we are still staying uh, pretty close to home. Um, we each, each go to work for our few hours. Um, we still do curbside pickup. Uh, we still do uh, maybe a drive through. Um, I can't believe that it, it's been almost one year since I've been inside a restaurant. Um, I know that I could go. Many people tell me that all the time, but uh, we're choosing not to right now. Um, we do try to do curbside or drive through uh, type pickup uh, to still help support the restaurants, but we're still not going in. Um, it's been um, right at a year that we both have seen our parents and we're trying to stay safe um, and we're, we're that much closer to uh, getting to go check on them. And um, if you're watching this video and you're near either of our parents, um, we are grateful for the help that you've given them and um, I'm so glad that, that they each have uh, people in their towns um, that have kind of helped out this last year um, when, we, when we haven't been able to. So one of the things that I wanted to remind you of is that we still have the Get Your Mittens on a Great Winter Read Challenge. This goes through March 31st. Um, you can get this form uh, from the Layman Facebook page. You can get it from the um, the newsletter, the web page. Um, I can email you a copy of it. Um, if you would like a hard copy and you want to set up an appointment um, in the afternoons down at Argenta, I'd be happy to uh, be able to step outside and lay it on the table, maybe with some of these selections or some other selections that you would like uh, for me to choose for you. Um, and that way I can at least, from the eyes, because I'd have my mask on, um, I can say hello, and I've, I've missed seeing a lot of you, so um, please uh, join us in the Great Winter Read Challenge. Um, when, you when you finish this, you will uh, fill out your answers, you'll um, email them to me. All that information is on the back. Um, you can, again, you can bring it back, you can stick it in the book drop, uh, you can mail it to me, um, however you want to get it to me. Uh, by the end of March, um, we can arrange that. So you know one of the challenges is uh, to pick a book um, that I have talked about in one of the book chats um, and you can go back on the Facebook page or the YouTube page and watch past videos or you can call me and I'll give you a little hint about some of the books that I've talked about um, maybe find a book that's under 200 pages um, choose a nonfiction read if you're not typically a nonfiction reader um, but any any how you do this um, you these books don't have to come from the library. They can be your personal books. They can be um, maybe a new book that you got for Christmas um, or maybe a new book that you're getting for Valentine's Day if, uh, if you are a book lover and that's uh, kind of the, your, one of your love languages is to get a book for a present. Um, but lots of different things and we have uh, prizes uh, to give out at the end um, through drawings once you get your, your slip into the, the entry and uh, some fun gift cards so again, join us for the Great Winter Read uh, Challenge. Um, I know I ended uh, last month's video with, uh, I think my 2021 message is going to be um, to mask up. I even have a new Valentine mask to wear this month because um, I don't go anywhere without a mask. Um, but to mask up and check on your neighbor. And that's that's the most important important part um, is to check on your neighbor to make sure they're doing okay um, and just let's keep everybody safe and um, just keep checking on each other so again I thank you for joining me for the February book chat and I will see you again in March um, we're gonna talk authors in March um, so I've got to get busy and um, start researching out which books and which authors that I want to uh, highlight in my next uh, book chat. So happy Valentine's Day and happy February and um, happy college basketball um, if you're a basketball follower. Um, hopefully we can make it through uh, the whole basketball season this year. So again, and thank you for joining me for another book chat with Julie.